Hello girls, it's Friday. Two things before I start, happy birthday Rachel. And uh, thanks again to Anna for filling in for Marissa on Thursdays. Uh, you've been pretty amazing, so kudos. Okay, so this week we are doing advice, and it's not specific advice for any one thing for whoever is watching these videos. If you do have any questions, I want you to know that you can ask us any questions you want, and uh, we would love to answer them. So I was thinking about what my advice would be for you guys all week, and I wasn't sure if I should do writing or just in general. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe they, they're not different. So I don't know if, you, if I told you guys, but I've wanted to get this tattoo for the longest time on the inside right here of my forearm. And I wanted it to say in Latin, create or die quietly. I really liked that quote because it was so passionate. For me, that quote means do what you love and do it 100%. Don't have that sit part of my language. And I just like the whole idea of that. For us girls, I think that would be writing. You know, um, that's how we create. But of course, you know, we can express ourselves different ways. I like that it basically meant do it without any fear. And that's, and I think that's what my advice to everyone would be is to find out what you love and do it. And don't stifle yourself. If what you love to do is writing or acting or singing or being a volunteer fireman or sitting on the couch and watching Friends reruns like day in day out then you should do that and you shouldn't listen to anyone who tells you you shouldn't if that's what you love to do you don't have any excuses not to let yourself do that for the rest of your life because the last thing you want to do is die quietly um, you know to go through this life without any regrets because it ties into what Julie was talking about on Monday and Taro talking about on Tuesday. It also really ties into what Anna was talking about yesterday. This, we only have one life to live. It's short. You need to do it a hundred percent of the time. And if I die tomorrow, I would be happy that this is what I did on my last day. Editing something I wrote. Editing the manuscript. Trying to get it out there. Like this makes me happy. And I want the people who watch these videos to know that you shouldn't be ashamed of what makes you happy. You shouldn't let anyone tell you that it's stupid. It doesn't have to be like writing is to us. It could be anything. If you're a mom, be the best mom that you can be. If you rescue uh, racing greyhounds, do that the best way you can. <laughs> Whatever your passion is, don't not do it. Going back to something Julie said, um, there is there is an awesome phrase called, don't forget to be awesome. And uh, what that means to me is, be yourself, do whatever makes you happy, and don't apologize for it. No regrets, never say sorry, and don't die quietly. Also, DFTBA. So my word of the day is actually a word I know. It's fulcrum. It's the support or point of rest on which a lever turns. Question for whoever I roll is I talked about um, uh, I talked about friends and I wanted to know what is your favorite 90s sitcom? Four. Marissa, I hope, um, if not Anna, but I don't think so, it should be Marissa. Well, whoever does Thursday next week, what was your favorite 90s sitcom? Hey, that's it from Friday. That's it for me. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And Julie, I will see you on Monday. Bye.